Alright, so today I'm finally going to install my AFR gauge. I finally have time to get in here and make it work. So there's my AFR gauge. It was the cheapest one I could find on eBay. It is a narrow band AFR gauge. So it's just a dummy light. Just to tell me if I'm running lean. That's all I really care about. There's a good chance that next year I'll put in a wideband O2 sensor and actually have some real data to work with, but for now, this is going to be good enough. Um, I think I paid like $12 for this. Basically, it's just a light that reads impedance or voltage or amperage. I can't remember, but it's going to tell me what's going on. I have three wires coming out of it, a red, a black, and a green. Green is the signal wire, red is 12 volt power, and black is obviously ground. And so I haven't installed my stereo yet, so I conveniently have a big red wire, a big black wire, and I had routed this guy up from my O2 sensor signal. <clears throat> so I'm just going to test this and uh, do one of these guys where I just wrap this around like that and then I wrap this guy around like that and then I wrap my ground around like that and I turn on the car Yeah, that's, that's crooked. <laughs> but I'm at 10. Okay, so let's go ahead and start it up. charge pipe hooked up so and really I don't have my charge pipe hooked up right now and so um, what the math is reading is that not actually the same air that is going into the intake manifold so <clears throat> this is not going to be accurate until I get the charge pipe hooked up which is fine but I just wanted to test and make sure it worked because it didn't come with any instructions, and I was just guessing on which wire to extend from the O2 sensor. Um, so luckily I picked the right one, and we have an AFR gauge. Now I just got to figure out where to mount this, and um, we'll be good to go. It's pretty, yeah, it's really that simple. The hardest part was really routing this guy. Tapping into the wiring harness and getting the signal wire up into the cockpit. So. Um, I'm going to mount this guy, I'm not sure where yet, maybe just right here. Um, because it's so small that might work pretty well. Um, I do also need to mount my boost gauge today and get it hooked up and then I'm going to see if I can get some work done putting the interior back together in here because I'm going to be leaving the car and uh, I remember how everything fits right now, and I probably won't in another six months. Because it's already been six months since the car has been put together. More like eight months, actually. I think I took the car apart in February, and it's December. So, yeah. I need to just kind of do some reassembly today. Hopefully I'll get most of it done. Uh, I also need to finish my exhaust because right now it's just dumping right out in the middle of the car and it's really loud inside. It's not that loud outside, so I'm not worried about noise violations or anything like that. Um, it's about the same decibel level as Ben's GC8, at how my car got like this on Instagram, check him out. Um, and so I'm just extending the pipes to the back. So that's a different episode, so make sure you subscribe so you can see that DIY blast pipe episode. So just kind of wrapping things up on the build. 
finishing up all the little things, and uh, yeah, mostly just all the other t stuff that I haven't had time to do so far, I'm doing now, and uh, it's working out pretty well.